hello friends don't forget to subscribe to the channel dkd health tips so today as a part of this video we are going to see how the how we can use slack and salesforce as a connected app so that whenever uh, uh, so we had this business case wherein uh, whenever a sales rep uh, closes an op opportunity so that salesforce should be able to automatically send uh, opportunity one reminders to the sales rep so uh, I have searched through the internet and I, I all I found was this trailhead for for which says about integration with Salesforce with Slack by installing the installed packages, which is good. And it also says about how to create a custom alert uh, and add it to the Slack user, user interface. But the problem here is friends, they, they are using for automation, they are using a process builders which uh, and we all know that process builders are going to salesforce is going to retire process builders very soon so that is the reason this video is very important for salesforce automation using sales uh, using slack with the flow so we will see, we will see uh, how we how i have done this uh, using the flow so without wasting much time let me quickly go to the flow which we have so uh, what i have done here is i have i have created i have created a record triggered flow on then opportunity so whenever there is an a record is created or updated so we are going to trigger this uh, uh record trigger flow and this is a post uh the, the, the so we have selected like the action and records uh, which is the which is like a post save uh, trigger we have people who understand about triggers so basically this is an after save trigger okay uh, or flow so uh, so now we have this decision block wherein we are checking the decision whenever there is an opportunity one uh, for, a, for, um, for an opportunity one stage so what we want to do is we want to have a condition wherein with the record stage is equal to opportunity one okay and this is already already set for the record that triggered the flow to run to update to meet the condition requirements now I'll click on done. Now, when I have this opportunity one as a path, so in that case, I want to get the message destination. Basically, I want to get the records from the message destination. So that is the object is message destination, message destination. And here in, I want to get my Slack channel name and uh, which I'm getting from the Slack. And also I'm getting the channel type as channel. Okay. So, uh, once we once I get the records, I have another decision block wherein I'm looking for uh, wherein I, I'm for for a label as yes I'm verifying the message destination uh, name okay and which is uh, if it is if it is not null then I'll I'll move to the get records part wherein I am going to get the current Slack user okay the record owner ID for that for that object and then i have another decision block wherein i am going to find uh, uh where i'm wherein i'm going to uh, get established uh basically a slack uh, opportunity slack authority authorization with the opportunity record okay so we this is the, uh, the this is the condition which we need to do to set and eventually we are setting we are calling an apex action okay this is the very important part friends so here we are we are getting the message destination id okay we are getting the record owner id and we also have a variable uh, wherein we have record we have defined a variable called message body in that message body uh, let me go to that message body and if you see here i have i have set up a variable like uh, this is this this is the variable this is the resource which is like get slack opportunity so it will it will it will tell the current user slack user that okay you have got a new deal congratulations and uh, it will tell you the record the opportunity record name the opportunity record close date the opportunity stage and the opportunity priority okay so having said that uh, let me uh, let me uh, let me test let me show you how it works in real real time so currently this is an opportunity record and uh, i'm moving this uh, stage to complete okay here in as a stage as opportunity one and when i click on save okay you will see that there is an automatically 
there is a record which has been created on my slack channel it's it it shows about that just close a new deal congratulations the opportunity name the opportunity close date the opportunity stage and the opportunity priority okay so friends hope you have liked this video so don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and if you have any questions uh, feel free to drop me a message or subscribe to my channel join my mailing list and stay safe, stay healthy.